Thank you so much. Thank you, Amanda. That, that's that's my sister's name, Amanda, and it's her birthday today, oh too. Gosh. So that's why you're handing us this great thing that, here. You want one too? Yes, please. Okay, so we come back at 1.30 yeah, so to pick up our... Between 1.30 and 2.30. Okay. 1.30 to 2.30 right here. We just come right, right, right back here. Okay. Thank All right, you thank so you so much. The Lisa. Behind the camera is Bill. Together we are Bill Lisa. Welcome to our channel. We have made it into Disneyland this morning. It is a Monday morning. We got up bright and early. We actually were up at 5 a.m. Got on the road a little bit after 6 o'clock trying to get here because today is the second day of candy canes here at Disneyland. We actually made it in time. I really wasn't sure if we were going to make it but we got through the gates just after opening and we've got in the last batch of candy canes. So later today, we're gonna get to show you a little bit about that when we come to pick our candy canes up. It's so amazing, since 1968, Disneyland has been making hand-pulled candy canes and they are so delicious because they aren't made by a machine, they're actually made with time, love, and care. And for many, many years, most people didn't even know about them. However, they were on the Food Network one day and ever since then, it has just been a mad rush for people to get here on Candy Cane Day and try to get their special handmade candy cane. And we did it for the first time ever. So now we're gonna head into Disneyland and enjoy our day. Let's go. He's gotta be standing back there. Pardon me? He's gotta be standing back there. Be here. Spill the beans, here. spill the beans. <laughs> Come on in. Thank you. He's got to be standing back there. Down this way, yeah, yeah and around. Have you hang out right up here. Okay. We're waiting for Santa. We're out in Critter Country, and he is going to be here any minute now. His elves are preparing him to come out and take pictures. And by the way, speaking of elves, how do elves? get from their little cottages to Santa's workshop every day by icicles. <laughs> Did you know that Scrooge loves Santa's reindeer? Why does he love them? Because every buck is precious to him. <laughs> oh, got in with the big man right like, there you are. That's right. We're waiting for him. He's waiting for us. All right. Thank you. Hi, Santa. Hi, Santa. Good morning. How are you? Good. How are you? Uh, uh, great to see you again. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Yes, you have. Uh, <laughs> great. We had to be first in line to see you, you today. You certainly were. All right. We're going to look this way. Thank you. Thank you, Santa. Have a wonderful day. I will if you will. Well, that is nice and cool it for you. It is so wonderful to send the day. It is. Just 23 days left. Yes. Uh, <laughs> thank you. You're very good. Thank, thank you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. So good to see thank you. Thank you. Amanda, we're thinking of you today on your birthday here at Disneyland. We're going to bring this birthday button to you on Christmas. Get Thank you. 
are so desired. There are some things you need to know though. If you decide that you want to get a candy cane yourself, I have some tips, some may call them secrets, as to what you should know and what you should do if you decide you want to get a candy cane. First of all, you should check online for all of the dates. They don't make candy canes every day. They only have them certain days of the week. They do make them here at the Candy Palace here in Disneyland. They also make them on different days over in California Adventure. So when you're picking your day, you want to pick a day that you can get here about 30 minutes before the park opens and be in line to come through the gates because you want to be one of the first people here at the Candy Palace to get a wristband. As soon as you get to the Candy Palace, as long as they have wristbands still available, you're going to get one and it's going to have a return time on it. That is the time that you're going to come back to the Candy Palace to pick up your handmade, hand-pulled, delicious treats that you can either buy for yourself or of course as a wonderful gift for somebody. But make sure also that you check ahead of time to see whether it's a magic morning. A magic morning means that people that are staying in the hotels get to come into the parks one hour early. So if the day you're choosing to come, now of course if you're staying in a hotel, that is beneficial. Get in here and take advantage of the magic morning. But otherwise, if you are coming and not staying in a hotel, you probably should pick a day that is not a magic morning like we did today. Additionally, weekdays are definitely less crowded than weekends, so that's a better choice. I have also heard that Disney California Adventure side is less crowded for the candy canes as well because not a lot of people know that they're selling them over there now. So those are some tips you should keep in mind if you decide that you want to get a candy cane for yourself. So now let's head over and talk to the cast member behind me that's handing out the candy canes to those who have wristbands. Come on. Thank you. Can you just put it down? Sorry, I'm short. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> she got me. <laughs> I got a jump. Yeah. Because <laughs> I made her laugh. <laughs> All right, and then Jess will help you out over there. Thank okay. you. Can we keep our wristbands? Unfortunately, I'm not. Christina, do you have any more of the... the uh, we have one more. Thank you. Thank you. Lucky day. Just gonna bring you guys up down there. Thank okay. you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'm keeping this as a souvenir. Yeah. That's right. I'm wearing my candy cane ears to get my candy cane. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much. So the candy canes come perfectly wrapped, very careful so that nothing happens to them. They are 18 inches long of delicious goodness. As you can see before, they were weighing them, measuring them. They're very careful to make sure they are all perfect and exact. Each candy cane is $15.99 each. Even if you are an annual pass holder, you do not get any type of discount on the candy canes. But as you can see, it is a substantial candy cane and it is worth every penny. I am so glad that we made it in in time today so that we could get our first Where's candy mine? canes ever. Oh, you want one too? All right. Bill got one. I'm just too. checking to make sure it's not broken. No, it's not broken. So we got two candy canes, and I am so excited for this because we have never done this before. But now it's going to be hard to eat these. It's going to say comment down below if you want them because I won't eat mine. <laughs> yeah, I know. And maybe we'll have to do a raffle and pick one. We'll have to carefully ship it to you to make sure that you get it in one piece. But if you are wanting a Disneyland candy cane, oh, smell them. Comment down below and we'll take that into consideration. 
All right, everybody, we're gonna end our video here. I hope you enjoyed it. We had a really, really great day here at Disneyland. And I have to be very careful walking out. I have precious cargo in this bag. I have to protect these candy canes to make sure that they don't break on the way home. In the words of Walt Disney himself, if you can dream it, you can do it. So get out there, live your best life, but definitely not before subscribing to our channel down below. Also, make sure you click that little bell down there, the cute little guy. Give him a little bit of love so that you get a notification every time we upload a video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!